The Amazon River is the second longest river in the world and one of the most important waterways on the planet. Its length is estimated to be at least 6,400 kilometers. The river is home to the largest species of river dolphins, around 100 species of so-called electric fish, and approximately 60 species of piranhas. About 40% of South America's fresh water comes from the Amazon. Despite its unique natural qualities, no bridges have been built over the Amazon River to this day. Considering that the river passes through the territories of three countries, Brazil, Colombia, and Peru, and that approximately 30 million people live in its basin, the absence of bridges seems unimaginable. The jungle surrounding the Amazon River can hardly be considered a favorable environment for constructing massive structures, but is it really an insurmountable problem for modern engineering? This seems particularly strange when looking at the situation with roads across other major rivers. In the capital of Egypt, Cairo, alone, there are nine bridges over the Nile River. Over a hundred bridges have been built in the last 30 years over the Yangtze River, the longest river in Eurasia. There are 133 bridges over the Danube, the largest river in Europe. What sets the Amazon River apart from them? The main part of the Amazon River passes through sparsely populated areas. It is impossible to integrate a bridge into the transportation network of these regions since the cities located on the riverbanks don't really have any paved roads. Boats and ferries have traditionally served as the main means of transportation for goods and passengers. Thus, the local residents would gain very little from the construction of a bridge, except for a slightly faster travel option. There is no real urgent need for a bridge over the Amazon, says Walter Kaufman, Chair of Structural Engineering at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, ETH, in Zurich, in his interview with Live Science. Of course, there would also be technical and logistical problems, he notes. According to him, building such a bridge would pose a unique challenge for designers and builders since there are numerous natural obstacles in the river's vicinity. For example, marshy banks and unstable soils would undoubtedly require very long viaducts, long elevated structures, and very deep foundations. Thus, it can be concluded that significant financial investments would be needed to implement such a project. According to the professor, the seasonal shifts of the riverbed and constantly changing water levels would make the construction process extremely challenging. According to Amazon Waters, the water level in the Amazon rises and falls throughout the year, while the soft deposits on the riverbanks get eroded and displaced. Thus, the topography of the surrounding areas is highly variable. Kaufman believes that the use of pontoons and other floating structures could greatly simplify the task, but unfortunately, they wouldn't be suitable for the majority of the Amazon due to its varying width. According to Britannica, the average width of the Amazon ranges from 3 to 10 kilometers from June to November, while the period from mid-December to mid-May is the rainy season, during which the water levels can rise up to 15 meters, and the width of the riverbed in certain locations can reach up to 48 kilometers. This is approximately 60% of the average width of Lake Baikal, it should be noted that although there are currently no bridges directly crossing the Amazon, there is one over the Rio Negro, the Amazon's largest left tributary. This bridge, called the Ponte Rio Negro, was built in Brazil in 2011 and is 3,595 meters long. It connects the city of Manaus with the municipality of Irunduba and is currently the only vehicular bridge crossing any tributary of the Amazon. This bridge cost Brazil approximately 470 million euros. A bridge over the Peruvian Nene River, another tributary of the Amazon, was supposed to open in 2021, but the construction was delayed. In January 2019, the current president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, stated that he was planning to build a bridge in the upper reaches of the Amazon as part of his Rio Branco project, but it never went beyond a discussion. It seems that the potential economic benefits turned out to be much smaller than the inevitable costs. However, local ecologists are actually happy about it. The construction of a bridge would open up wide access to new regions that were previously untouched by loggers. Accelerating deforestation of the tropical forest has been one of the key problems in the region for the past 15 years.